Okay, guys, we're back on the GT40X project. Slow and painful progress, kind of like marriage and kids. You guys understand, I'm sure. Uh, as far as this angle, that liquid looks pretty decent. You know, it's a small block Ford. The, 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 the liquid wants to go straight. So that wall is in the way, so it's going to have to come around that wall and then into the chamber. But if you look on the right side of that guide, there's a little bit of blue, which is a step in the right direction. You can also see that on the valve. Okay, you can see the lion's share of it is on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side, you can also see a nice powder. I should include that I put a small back cut on it. You can see where I just lapped it to see where the seat was, and I brought it up close to the seat, and then it's going to be done. Could I shrink the seats and gain some more flow? Yeah, I could. Uh, I don't know if that's really going to be applicable to this project. We'll see how we do before we spend tons of time uh, changing the valve job. Okay, from this angle, we look really good. I'm really quite happy with the way that's, that's turning out. You can see a little tiny bit on this side right here. Right? Not soaking the plug. We get some snot here. But we don't have, don't have anything really on here. Let's take a look at the top of the exhaust valve, see if there's anything on that. Sorry, guys. Okay, I really don't see anything on the back of the exhaust valve. As far as the port shape, yeah, it was changed a little bit. I went by the air speeds. I changed the bowl a little bit. Got to be careful. These bowls are not thick. Uh, if I really have to push my luck, I'll have to change the texture and then measure and then grind and then put the rough texture back on. That's... Uh, you got to be careful with that because a, a rough burr can get you in trouble in no time. The short side radius did get some work. If you remember uh, first cut, we had a huge amount of noise coming off that short side. So I took a look at my air speeds. I modified accordingly. Did we get huge gains? Mm, just by a quick look, I would say no. But we did get some gains. Now, you will notice that it still has a burr texture on that short side. That is probably not the way these will go out. Uh, usually I like a polished short side. But for uh, figuring out development, this is what I use usually. I'm doing my best with uh, what I can show you on this. I mean, the blue looks pretty good. You can really see the angle that the air travels on that floor. Uh, by the way, that corner of the short side when I put a flow ball there, my airflow drops the most, so that should tell you something right there. The floor is uh, relatively flat on this. Um, could I gain some more by putting an angle on it? I could, but it's, it's not super thick, so I have to be careful. I did widen it a touch, and it's got a fairly uh, mild texture to the whole short side. All right, the exhaust short side got a little bit of work because I, you know, first cut's going to be quite high, and then I work down and try to get my air speeds where I want them. It was not a complete win. We'll go over the pluses and minuses and see where we go from there. The bowl itself hasn't been touched since the first cut, so all I did was I worked on that short side a little bit. All right, it doesn't look too bad. When I first uh, did it on the bench, I'm like... I was really expecting it to pick up more than that. But if you take a look, our second cut, we got a minus. We got all pluses all the way down. Some of them are extremely small, you know, 225, 225.2. So while it was is maxed out on the bench here at 235, I did some flow ball work. If you work on that short side, there's 244 available. It tells you where we need to, need to concentrate our work short side is going to be ugly because it's so low okay so you got to work with what you got unfortunately that's the original design on these heads somebody somebody mentioned uh, that the reputation on these heads is not great and I can kind of see why 
I know what Ford did. Ford wanted something easy you could bolt right on, take your E7s off, bolt these on, gain, you know, 30, 40 horsepower. I have no doubt they would definitely do that. you got to remember an E7, well, let's take a look at the, the stock flows. All right, even a stock, let's say Mustang GT, it's got a, what, 444 lift cam, right? E7 barely breaks 160. So you got 40 extra CFM. Calculate up how much bolt-on horsepower that is, right? Great bolt-on head, no doubt. It's also quite a bit bigger port. You're going from a 129cc port to a 178cc port, which today's day and age, that's still small because most of your small block Ford ports are bigger than that aftermarket stuff. And it is a street motor, so I need to I need to get as much of this as I can without making the port too big. Besides, there's not a lot of metal to really make the port that big, and I don't want it stupid thin. That's you know I I I like durable stuff. So let's take a look at our swirl. Okay, first cut swirls, second cut swirls. If you remember what I said first time we looked at these, a little high. Okay, knocked them back. Almost all minuses. I'm, I'm happier with this swirl curve than this swirl curve. So that's a step in the right direction. We got pluses everywhere else. Now, uh, intake, ma <laughs> intake manifold is a good story on this. The original uh, conversation was blueprint copy of the Edelbrock RPM air gap. The customer decided to pick up a real Edelbrock. And we're going to compare them both on the bench. We're going to compare them, what they look like, what the curves look like, and then we're going to flow both of them, probably on runner number. I have to remember on Ford which number it is. I know on Chevy it's a number eight. And uh, I'll have to figure out which is the worst runner on that. And we'll, we'll flow them both on the worst runner, and we'll get a, com a comparison. And the company says they can, it can go back as long as it doesn't go on an engine that's run. We're good. So I can bolt it on the bench, no problem. That'll be interesting to look at, guys. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. That should happen uh, this week because I took this week off just to get out of work and just do some cylinder head work and rest, rest my head a little bit. Okay. Exhaust, second cut, first cut. Not a huge win if you take a look. If I have some gains, they're very small. If I have some losses, some of the losses are pretty big. 86, 78. That isn't good, right? We had one, two, three, four, five points of noise here. Did some work to it. I got it down to two spots of noise. As far as I'm concerned, that's a win. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, plus. This is an important area right here. We don't quite top out as good. Do we lose a lot? No, don't lose a lot, but I don't like to lose anything. And if we take a look through the pipe, verse through the pipe, this one is up, this one is down. Okay, not a complete win, but we need to really take a look at our air speeds and then figure if it's a win or not. Okay, first cut, intake air speeds verse second cut air speeds. How do we do? Well, we're 228 change here we're 235 here you would think they go up you got a plus minus plus not bad from top to bottom pretty active floor now this is I'm looking at the wrong one sorry guys plus 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 okay up from where we were here we got a plus and a minus fairly even I mean more even than we were by far okay so I'm going to take that as a win. And how did our short side do? Well, plus, plus, plus. How even? Not bad. Okay. We've got a little more speed here, and this is where our flow ball said uh, we had the most speed. Because when you put the flow ball there, your flow dumps down the most versus this corner. Okay, first cut exhaust numbers on top, second cut exhaust numbers on the bottom. 
big change? No, but a definite change, right? We got a plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 minus. Some of the pluses are really small, only one. This actually went backwards a little bit. Okay, it did better on this one. Remember, this was completely dead on the stocker. It was like 40. Side to side, not great. We could work on side to side, right? Definitely could be better. And it was at 600, so it is actually flowing less. This one was flowing more. This was 177. This is 174. So not a complete win, changing the apex of the short side a little bit to what I thought would be better. So I need to work on that a little bit more. Is it, is it okay for a street motor as it is? It's not bad. And if you take a look at your exhaust to intake ratio, which I'm not a huge fan of, it's not bad. It'll, it'll make nice power right now. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, the intake needs some more short side radius work. The bowl I'll keep the same. The valve I'll keep the same. The, the pinch is... It's fine. It's not, not even close to holding us back. This really isn't enough difference to worry about. And to be honest, these speeds here aren't really enough to worry about, but the flow ball said work on the floor. So that's where we're going to work for that. And the uh, exhaust, what I think I'll do is I'll polish the throat because it's textured burr polish right now. We'll texture the throat and see if we can, uh, see if we can boost this up right in this area. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. You know what I did forget? And I forgot on the first and second, the stock and first cut. Let's take a look at the, our, our bore. Okay, I'll tell you stock, that didn't look anything like that. It was, a thin, it was a thin line. First cut looked pretty good. Not quite as good as that. That's definitely the best as of right now. Okay, even if you go all the way around, it just has the lightest little speckles around. That's... That's taking care of the liquid in a big way, which is going to be helpful on a carb uh, street application. So remember, guys, it's not all flow numbers. Yeah, I push flow numbers because I want to get the most amount of air through the smallest hole, really, for the most part. So we get our velocities up. And the more efficient you make the port, the higher you can push those velocities and it'll still stay stable. In any case, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.